Welcome once more to my Tales of Terror. This week we reach number ten, and in the science of numerology the number ten has no associations, except, of course, the Ten Commandments. We do our very best to adhere to them, but we are only human, and often fail. There is one commandment, however, that we always obey, the one that orders, Thou shalt not kill. Well, most of us obey it, and those who don't, well, listen to what happened to Fat Andy. You're much too fat. Got a face like a big cow pat. <laughs> fat Andy, fat Andy, fat Andy, fat Andy. Can't catch me. Where are you going? Come back. Spoil sport. I didn't mean it. Honestly, you're really nice. Please play. I want to show you something. No, I'm not telling. It's a secret. You've got to catch me. Andy, 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 Andy. Fat and 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 fat. When we get back, will you take your hankies out of your suit pocket and bring it down for me to press? Well, you want to look nice for the vicar's little speech. Hey, Mother, you forgot to get a new book. Well, there'll be books at the Jumble on Saturday. Or a record and we can put it on the gramophone. Oh, get one with singing. Well, we've got lots of those. Yeah, nice. Have one of those eclairs when we get back. That'll be nice too, and a cup of tea. If you haven't squashed them the way you're carrying them. No. Oh, but, oh look, there goes our swallow. Yes, it's the one, look. It's gone to its nest. That south transept window is going to be filthy before long. Well, God won't mind, I suppose. One of his creatures doing his business. No one will care. I saw a patch of damp in the vestry this morning. It's a leak in the plumbing, I expect. It can leak. Wasn't the roof. We haven't had rain. Might be the mains under the floor. Mains is off. Don't mean you can't get water. You should look. They don't want me. They do. It's not you they don't want. But if you don't do it, it'll all be shut up and no one knows how long. And there could be damage and no one to attend to it if you don't. The whole church could be flooded. It's coming down. Not necessarily. God's going. Oh, don't talk daft. God doesn't want dafties. What are we going to do? Well, we can walk up to St John's instead. It'd be empty like a, like a shed and like a falling down barn and the cold will whistle through and the bad will come in. Now, Andrew, there's no bad. It's just a building. God's in people, not in buildings. There's bad and when it finds out he's gone, it'll come. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. If there's any bad, it's in you for being so daft. It's not in me, it's not in me, it's not. <laughs> Not you break the eggs. Well, he's eating me. But no, love. Of course not. Not if you fix that leak, it won't be. There's no forgiveness. There's no rest for the wicked, that's for sure. Oh, look, now that's nice. Someone's put some flowers on Mrs Hunter's grave. And the Bassets. Oh, now that's thoughtful. But, oh, now, would you look at that? Is that the cat's been playing around? Oh, what a shame. They've scattered all the flowers you put out for little Joanne. Well, I've never seen that before. Look all over the place. Would you believe it? Oh, and you've done it so nicely. <laughs> Andrew? Look, wherever are you running off to? Andrew? Oh, oh you are the absolute limit. I've scrambled eggs, I suppose.
Don't, don't go yet, don't go yet. Stay a bit longer. But you'll go soon. One day, I know. I'll come in. They're going to take the pews and sew them up. And the pulpit, I expect they'll sew that up. And it'll all be empty. Echoing. Like this. Like this. Till they pull it down, then it won't echo. I'm afraid here without you. You know why. No one else knows. That's why you've looked after me. And I've looked after your house and the graves. It's nice grass now. That's me got it nice. And the hedge and the daffodils. In all these years, I've brought her flowers every day. Flowers to keep her sleeping. There's never a day without. And it's always looked beautiful and peaceful. Kept her sleeping so peaceful. But she knows you're going. That's it. She knows, see? It wasn't cats. She knows you're going. She knows. Operate. My father says they can do anything in hospital. I expect they could slice bits off. Don't want to go to hospital. They'll have machines they can bring and do it at home for you. Don't want machines. I'd hate to be fat. If you're too fat, you die before you're 20. I know, because it happened to someone. Do you think I'm beautiful? Where are we going? Somewhere. You're ever so old, aren't you? I don't know. Why aren't you in the older class? Let's look for some sand, and I'm going to write my name. You can write your name. You know how to write your name. Where are we going? What's the secret you're going to show me? Do you want to hold my hand? All right. Well, you can't, because you're too fat. Fat, dandy, fat, dandy, fat, dandy, fat, dandy, fat. I wonder what they're going to do with these hassocks. Be a sin to throw them away. Well, I must have thought of it, but the vicar never said. Unless he sent to you, did he? He never said to me. Pile up in the corner, then they'll go rotten and no-one will want them. Oh, oh, I embroidered this one. Well, I'm taking this one. I'm not leaving it to go rotten. I wonder whose knees it's had on it. Take it home. Well, where would we put it? We could sit on it. Not when it's had people's knees on it and their feet. If we leave that such, will you stay, God? If we leave lots of things, hide them so they're not taken away. I know it won't be the same, but you could pretend. Mother will leave her asset that she did, and I'll come and kneel on it. And if we leave a prayer book and a hymn book somewhere, you could pretend it was like it was, because it won't just be like an empty barn. Are you going to come and look at this damp? If it's doing something in here, it's probably I'll fill the crypt. Are you coming? Not my job anymore. Might as well be. You've not got anything else to do. Because they don't want me. I hope it's fine tomorrow. I could make sandwiches. Shall I make sandwiches? Will he be gone after that? Is it what the vicar says? What? Does God go then? It's nothing to do with the vicar. It's the bishop signing the paper, I expect. I hope he never signs it. Why have you gone so daft? <laughs> what was that? What was what? That! Well, it wasn't anything I heard. It was... There! It sounded like a rope to me. More. What more do you want? A voice. Oh, yes, well, I expect it's God then in that case, calling you, just like he calls Samuel. You see, he's not going. He's got something lined up for you. You're just what he wants. Do you think so? <gasps> Give me patience. Well, I won't bore you with lots of prayers. 
I won't bore you with any prayers, in fact. Heaven knows we get enough of them as it is. Uh, no, we're here today as a mark of gratitude and friendship on a day which in many ways is full of sadness for all of us. God has seen fit to grant us a gloriously fine morning, appropriately perhaps, since it is the sunlight which shows up the handiwork of a friend of ours, someone whose labour of love over very many years, certainly many more years than I can count, has given us what must be, without doubt, the best-kept churchyard in the whole of England. God may provide the materials, but Andrew certainly knows how to use them. Andrew has been a familiar character, a familiar face. I would go so far as to say a loved face at this church, since he was scarcely more than a lad, setting an example to many with his unassuming, honest faith and the devotion he has brought to his work, whether in trimming the hedge or polishing the altar rail. Aided, of course, by, and no doubt a source of pride to, his mother, our friend Millie. His whole life has been dedicated to the service of simple beauty. Witness his devotion to the remembrance of young Joanne, who was taken so untimely from her family all those many, many years ago. Mother, shh, mother, look. No, I'll look later. I'm listening now. It's moved. Shh. He still did that, Stone. It's all on a deal. Oh, for heaven's sake, Andrew. Pay attention. She's walking up. She's coming. She knows there's nothing to stop her. Oh, stop your nonsense, little blabber. You're an embarrassment. Joanne. 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 She won't get me. She won't get me. Andrew. Andrew. Uh, is something wrong? Well, I'm sorry, Vicar, he's been such a nuisance. I'll fetch him back. Andrew! Andrew! Do you know my name? Joanne. Who told you? Like, remember? You must be able to. I can't. Do you like it? It's nice. I'm very lucky having a name like that. My mother says it's unusual. It must be very boring being called Andrew. I think you're in love with me. Are you? Where's everyone? I don't know where we are. You're stupid. If I ran off, you'd probably just sit down and cry and stay there till the lobsters ate you. I wouldn't. Prove it. What's the secret you're going to show me? I found it yesterday. You must promise not to tell anyone else. I promise. Faithfully? Faithfully. Can we take it with us? Take it with us? You really are stupid. I don't know what it is. I don't think I'm going to show you any more. Oh, please. I'm going to push you in the sea and watch you float away to America. All fat people float. I know, because it's true. Don't push me in. I will after three. One, two. Don't! I'm going back. I don't want to see your secret. You're horrid. No, I'm not. Please, Andrew. I won't be horrid again. Cross my heart and hope to die. I promise I won't push you in. I'll push you in. Well, I can swim now. I'll sit on you. Yeah. And it's, it's you who'd get eaten by lobsters. I won't be hurried to you if you're not hurried to me. Where's everyone else? I want to go back. Oh, it doesn't matter. Please come with me. Shall we play kiss chase? You can count up to ten and give me a start, and I promise I won't run too fast, and when you catch me... God? Oh, I thought you might have gone. I've heard her. She was calling. I know it was her. And I haven't been able to sleep because of thinking. And I don't know how she'll come, and it makes me scared. But I know the headstone was tilted over. Mother doesn't believe me. I told her, and she said I was seeing things. But I don't see things, do I, God? I haven't seen anything. It's all real what I can see. I can see the lectern and uh, the windows and the front. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm going to stay a bit longer, God. Then I'm going to go home. Don't let Mother snap at me when I get back. Please. Where have you been hiding, you great lump? Sorry? We'll have to take the bacon slicer to you. What do you mean? Slivers and slobbers and slices and yum, yum, yum. What do you mean? What have I done? Oh, come on, stir yourself. 
I want some more sugar. I'm going to make a hundred meringues and we can eat them till we're sick. I bet I can eat more than you can. Well, fetch it down, then. You know where it is. Yes? This. Thank you, Andrew. How kind. <laughs> mother! 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 Yes, love? I'm here. She, What's happened? She, 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 Who? She, she was in there. Who was in where? It was you. She was you. Who was, love? Joanne. She wanted to chop me up. She was pretending to be you. Is it you? Is this you? And of course this is me. I'm always me and no one else. Especially when I'm hanging the washing out. Don't let her be you. Never. No, I won't, love. Never. Do you want to tell me about it? She wanted the bacon slicer. Now, why would she want a thing like that? Because she's a devil. Now, that's not a very nice thing to say. The devil may chop people up in a baking slicer, but I'm sure Joanne would never have done anything like that. Oh. She's your little friend. Why have you got this thing about her all of a sudden? Can't tell. Only tell God. Well, I'm the next best thing. So let's go in and have a nice cup of tea, shall we? Hello? Anyone here who shouldn't be? There you are, you see. Quite as the grave. She asked for sugar. To go with the bacon? Oh, she wanted to make me rungs and I got her a bag. Where did you put it? Gave it to her. Out of the cupboard? Yes. Well, it's still here, love. You can't have done. Come on, let's have a sit down. Let's put a nice record on. Let's put one of those new ones on that the vicar gave you. Here we are. <laughs> place on earth. I discovered it and no one else knows about it. You could live forever in here. It's like heaven. I don't believe in heaven. You have to. I don't believe in hell either. But but you have to. Why? Because because when you die... Oh, when I die I shall rot away like everyone else. It isn't like that. I'm going further in. Even better. It gets spooky. I'm not coming where you can't see. I'll help you. Don't go too fast. You have to keep up. It's slippy. There's a bit up here where you have to squeeze. You'll probably get stuck. Wait! Don't leave me alone. Joanne! Joanne! Andrew? Andrew? Oh, there you are. I got a lovely book from the jumble and I got a hat. Don't know why anyone was giving that away. Not a mark on it. 80 pence. It's ridiculous. Look, there's the hat. It's nice, isn't it? Nice. And here's the book, Smuggler's Tales. Now, you'll enjoy that. It's got lots of stories. I'll read you one when I've sat down. And you know we've had vandals. I didn't think it had belonged before they heard about the church. What have they done? They've been messing up the graves. That's what. Ooh, it makes you livid. No respect for the dead. Messing up how? Disturbing the earth. Pushing the stone over. L lots of graves? Well, no, just the one. Which one? I'm going to make some tea. Do you want a cup? Mother, which one? I don't remember, love. You do? Was it hers? Now, don't get yourself worked up, love. It won't be good for your heart. It was hers. I told you. I told you. I told you. Oh, I told go and you. sit down, you great ninny. God, she's coming, she's near. They said it's me imagining, but it's not. I know it was her pretending to be mother. It's not in my head. Why should it be? I don't get things in my head. But she's out now. She'll get me. She can get anywhere. Except here. This is safe. But she'll be here too when you're gone. 
and it's all because you're going. What do I do, God? God, are you still here? God? <laughs> don't let her, God, don't let her, don't let her, don't let her, don't let her. Vicar? Can I have a word? Uh, uh, Andrew, I... I, I don't really think you should be seen to make such a precipitate entrance into the church. Uh, you see, your mother may have told you that we've had vandals, and it doesn't set a very good example. Not vandals. Uh, yes, I think so. No, not. And anyway, the church will have to be padlocked from tomorrow. No. I'm afraid so. How will I get in? Uh, well, strictly speaking, you don't actually need to get in anymore. You can't. You mustn't keep the church. have to. People have nowhere to go. Only place to be safe. You mustn't let God go. Don't let the bishop sign the paper. Well, I guess... She's out. She's coming. She'll find me. Look, Andrew, your mother mentioned to me that you've... Uh, well, that you thought you were... Not imagination. Now, hold on. Let me have my say. Now, I, I know you've been having an unsettled time and... Uh, Moments of stress, the old mind can play tricks on us. But honestly, Andrew, we clergymen have to know about all sorts of things like this. And I can tell you that what you're experiencing is no more than a psychological anxiety transference. Big words, but that's what it is. And the best cure is a good long rest. Now, let me walk you home. We'll have one of your mother's famous cuppers. Hmm? There's a good fellow. Come along, then. Everything will be fine. We're looking after you. Joanne! Here I am. Where? What a naughty boy you are, Andrew, getting left behind. I can't see you. You should eat more carrots and not so many sweets. I'm going. I hate you. You still haven't caught me. I thought you wanted to kiss me. Don't you? You're ugly. Not as ugly as you. You ought to be put down. We had a puppy once that was really ugly, and I drowned it. It was easy. I could drown you too. Easy peasy. Just leave you in here and wait for the tide to come in. No, you couldn't. You're not going to touch me. I'm going. You don't know the way out, fatty. Do? Joanne? Ow! Stop it! Get off, and Stop it, Andrew! Bad Andy, bad Andy, bad Andy, bad Andy, bad Andy! Don't! Don't, Andrew! Stop throwing them! Andrew, don't! You hit me! Andrew! Ow! And I do know the way out! I do! Well, now, there's a story for you. Did you like that one? Yeah. I liked it. I hope the others are as good as that. My goodness. And ten pence for the whole book. They could have asked fifty. It had been worth it. Still. Well, I must pop upstairs. You don't go away. You don't want to be on my own. She'll come. Nature calls, love. If I've got to pop upstairs, I've got to pop upstairs. Now, just you sit quietly. Don't worry your head about a thing. I'll be back in a jiffy. Oh, Father, we shout in heaven. Now, let be done in thy kingdom come. Thou will be done on earth. Stay in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, Jesus Christ, Son Lord. Conceived by Holy Ghost, born Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, crucified, dead, buried, descended into hell, third day, rose again from the dead, ascended into heaven, set its right hand, God, Father Almighty, thence come judge quick and dead, believing Holy Ghost, Catholic Church, communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, resurrection of the body. Resurrection of the body? No, I don't believe in it. I don't. 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 Here we are again. Oh, that was quick. Quick as the devil. You've got your coat on. Because it's time for church. What? 
We'll have to go and investigate that damp patch. No. Well, the church will be padlocked tomorrow. Can't someone else look? They blame you if there's damage. But it's dark. There's no electricity. I'll take a torch and go on my own. But don't leave me alone. You better come then, haven't you? If you don't want to stay here. <coughs> Mother! See. You'll have to keep up then. Mother, don't go too fast. Don't be a naughty boy and get left behind then. Goodness, that's doing well. Filling up fast. Ooh, sounds bad. Down you go then. We should get the vicar. Nonsense. But we don't know how far up it comes. Go on then, you'll soon find out. Are you coming? Yes, I'm coming. Hold the torch up. He's tied down these stairs. They'll have to squeeze. Give me the torch, Mother. Mother, turn it on. What have you done? Mother. Mother, where are you? Here I am. Where's the torch? Mother, I can't see you. You should eat more carrots and not so many sweets. Mother. Do you want to hold my hand? You. You're not my mother. Where's my mother? She had to pop upstairs. She then She's here. Where is she? She was never here. What have you done with her? How did you get here? I've always been here. I'm glad you've come. Mother. We won't tell anyone else, will we? It's our secret. I don't believe you. You're not real. Do you believe in heaven? I don't believe in heaven. God, don't let her be here. She's not here. It's my He's in my head, God. He's gone. He went this afternoon. God, God, God. <laughs> he no. went and he let us have our No, you're head. not real. No one else knows about it. I'm him. going home. secret. And the water's beautiful. Oh, my mother. I love the water, the way it rises so Where deep and you? still and cold. I thought you wanted to kiss me. Don't come kiss me near now, me. Andrew. I've waited for you. You're not a Here's my hand. Okay, Take no, my I, hand. I want your hand. Careful, no. Andrew. You don't, don't want to knock your head, do you? No. <laughs> Andrew? Where have we got to? Andrew! Oh, not turning your record off. <coughs> you really are the limit. Among the Ten Commandments, Thou shalt not kill is a wise one indeed, and one I'm sure you will obey to the best of your ability. Remember always that guilt is a ghastly bedfellow. In that story, Thora Heard played the mother, Sean Barrett the unfortunate Andrew, the young Andrew was played by Susan Sheridan, and the ghastly Joanne by the delightful Darrell Back. The vicar was Norman Bird. The story was written by Stephen Dunstan and directed by Jerry Jones. My name is Edward de Souza. The Man in Black, and I'll be putting on my black cape next week to bring you story number 11, a story that will truly set your teeth on edge. <laughs>